Here's a 1968 uh, Austin Healey. Dumbass Junior and I uh, drove down to almost Pennsylvania, Jersey border. I think it was like $450. I just wanted it because I had to, I think, to 12, is it 1275 <laughs> CC or 1225, whatever. I'm not going to go look it up. Uh, that engine nicely goes into these bug eyes, which if you're, uh, I think these were 945 cc's. These had the better transmission and it all come right out and slide right in there. So I just went down there to buy it for that reason, but geez, then we got it home. And, uh, geez, it was stuck, the engine. And then I got it unstuck, working it back and forth. And geez, we, we got her running. It was, <laughs> oh, that was, a, I wish I had a film of that in the shop. It was winter time, sat for 27 years. And I got, boy, what a smoky, wonderful mess that was. Had to air the place out. So we ended up, uh, got the engine running pretty good, except for the carbs. So I thought I'd show you. So we just, it already had a lot of fiberglass in it. Uh, here's a picture of it when in its early stages in primer. But I, well, let's just put some more, well, I put the gla more glass into her and, and uh, thought, well, let's save it. Oh, and I kind of modified the front bumpers here a little bit. And then uh, a little trick I, if you got a, a British car, here's a little trick I created when I was fixing it up. Go down here, bump off the hood. There's him. That's why he didn't gotta go inside the car. Hello, where is it? There she is. Oh, by the way, it's not an original hood ornament. 20 bucks, it's plastic. I bought one. We got her looking pretty good under the hood here. Kind of shaped it. Did do a little work on her. Dust that off a little bit. Doesn't do it justice. They're really. Kind of winter, kind of bringing her back. All right, that's under the hood. What's the back of it? What's neat about these is you can uh, go ahead and take the bug eye bumpers, will fit right on to these. I thought that kind of dressed her up a little bit. Take those big, yeah, and I did a paint. We sprayed it white, put those stripes on her. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, really. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look so good in there now, right now. Here's some of the other girls. What do we got there? One, two, three. There's five bug eyes, 59s and 60s. There's bug eyes, what do they say? Five, six, and seven. I buried a bunch of crap on it. All of them uh, eh, are, I say, restorable. They're all like one granders, two granders maybe. This is bug eye number eight. Uh, the very first one I got from a buddy of mine, Roger Barnett, old car friend of our families. What a cool guy he was too. There's a picture of him and his wife when he was young on, the, on his Triumph motorcycle. And uh, but yeah, I needed floors, and so every time I see one advertised, I'd go look for another one, see if it was a little bit better. And I end up purchasing it and inventorying parts. But uh, I can do that type of uh, repair, but I thought I'd keep looking. So I got this number eight, just got it last year. This one does have all the original paint on it, it's dense here and there, but it's really solid. Okay, I was really excited about it. A couple little holes. Somebody did sandblast the front of it, so, and then uh, apparently the guy didn't finish a project. So uh, the front was all, it was kind of surface rust, so I heard it put some uh, black paint on it. I did have to go through my SU carburetor collection that I got hanging up here. See if I find a couple that were decent to rebuild. And kind of in there behind the, the rail of the door. I got a hold of a couple of aging uh, gentlemen friends of mine, uh, Leo, and then uh, I guess the guy is Steve, that's his buddy. Uh, they're into Alfa Romeo's into that, and uh, MG's. So uh, I had, uh, Steve said he could uh, rebuild the carbs for me, oh, very sober. Then, uh, so when he gave me the carburetors back, I should have took a photo of an earlier video. So he made this little stand, and he just uh, looks like he just had a hunk of he had a, a hunk of uh, uh, paneling or something left over from his house or something. 
We cut it out quick. We put a little two by four on there. Chunk was busted off. <laughs> And, uh, you know, a couple of screws. I go, gee, they're pretty nice. <laughs> I wish you could see it before. It was pretty crude. Uh, had sharp corners on it. and uh, uh, But uh, he made that stand just to put the carburetors on there to work on them. I go, do you want this bag? I go, oh, no, it's okay. And I go, geez, that's kind of a cool thing. So I um, I uh, caulked her up good there and ground off the, uh, smoothed up the edges. And uh, that's... That's what my Christmas is all about, so I can't wait to, I think he'll like, be the, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, drop that off, and uh, that's my Christmas gift to a, a car buddy of, of mine, Steve. There's one of our Christmas decorations. Uh, I got him with the Salvation Army. I think it was a snow cone maker. My son says, I guess he was in a, some Walt Disney movie, but I thought he looked pretty cool. <laughs> our only other Christmas decoration is our two deer out front here. Bucking a doe, indulging in coitus, is that how you say it? <laughs> Hope it's not too crass for everyone out there for Christmas. Merry Christmas and count your blessings from uh, Briggs Garage and Restoration.